Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Fanatics Under Wraps NFL Draft Mini Helmet. It's a 12 box break. We got these loose boxes from Fanatics. A 12 box break, it's a random helmet break, so you're guaranteed a mini helmet. And it's a 12 spotter, so it's essentially a personal box. We just waited for 12 to fill so we can get a chunk of those done at once. Um, some different, there's four types of helmets that you can collect. Year one, inscribed, unique colors, one of ones. And I'm, I'm assuming that with the NFL draft logo there, I'm assuming this is the current draft class. So previous mini helmets we've done with Fanatics um, has been, there can be like current rookies, future stars, you know, vet players, Hall of Famers, blah, blah, blah. But this appears to be all the 2023 draft class, which would be pretty cool. All right, so also, if you buy a full spot, you had a chance to win a full spot. So thanks to everybody for making this happen. Hans got last spot mojo. So we only sold 11 spots outright. That 12th helmet we're giving away. So a possibility, a chance at a buy one, get one. Good odds there too. So that'll be the first dice roll. Second dice will be randomizing you a number. This is for the extra spot. After five, fingers crossed, good luck. One and a four, five times. One. Two, three, four, and fifth and final time, Matt Smith. There you go, Matt. An extra helmet going your way. So we'll have that little rooftop symbol next there so you know that you won that spot. Now, let's randomize you a number. So there they are, one through 12. Now, just to show you really quick, I pre-stickered the boxes. Right, for this particular break. There's one, there's two, so it's, it's, you can kind of see the boxes on this camera. There's one, two, three, four, five, six behind there, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So they've been pre-stickered. And now let's roll it and randomize this one and a three, four times. One, two, three, and four. Got Arthur down to Michael P. One and a three, four times for the box numbers. One, two, three, and once more, fourth and final time. We got box five through seven. All right, Arthur with box five, Josh with two, Matt with six, Alan with four, Josh with eight, Matt, the extra one you won, box nine. Sal with 10, Hans with 11, Kyle with one, William with three, Matt with 12, and Michael with seven. Now let's do one more randomizer just for fun. Although it's not, not a very long break, so I don't think it's gonna matter too much, but. So we're gonna decide if we're gonna go alphabetically by your first names, or if we're gonna go in number order. And we'll use the same dice right there. One and three, four times. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna go by number order. So let's order these numerically. So unfortunately, Hans, Matt, you're gonna to be towards the end. But let's order these numerically. All right, Kyle, you're up first with box one. And Josh, you're after that with box two. There's box one right there, Kyle, good luck. So let's just get a look at what we have there, all the different players on the back. The bottom is just the same, but with different codes right there as well. Good luck. And chance for me to learn some of these players as well. So this is a fifth round pick out of Penn State. And, uh, and he's a quarterback. It's Sean Clifford. Number to 
Nice, you got the, the classic Packers colors. You got the authenticity sticker back there and he hit you with an inscription too, go Pack Go. box right there so you get the helmet you get this card I'm not sure if the shipping team's gonna send you that box but, but maybe they will I'm, I don't know we'll let them we'll let them decide whatever's gonna help it ship more efficiently all right Kyle thank you Josh you're up next let me just tag this today's the 20 22nd I've been writing 21st on all of my breaks no I've been writing 22nd on all of my breaks I'm losing my mind, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Josh, you're up next with box two. The name of the player on the bottom. I don't want to. I don't want to show you that. All right. Who do we have here? We have a. Uh, oh, the third overall pick. Nice. It's defensive end, Will Anderson Jr. Texans guy. Nice. On the Texans mini helmet. Fanatics authentic uh, authentication sticker back there. Oh, and another card down here? Oh, and then a hologram verification card as well. All right, nice one, Josh. And you got another one coming up a little bit later, box eight. All right, box three is going to be for William. I like these mini helmets. They're, they're cute, as they say. There's box three. These are probably a little bit easier to display as well if you wanted to do that. We got another quarterback, a fourth round pick out of Fresno State. Yeah, out of Fresno State. Went to the Saints. I, I paused because he's, uh, I, I don't know if he's going to win the backup job. He might be actually. Pro Football Network a day, a day ago saying thoughts of Jake Hayner unseating Jameis Winston as the Saints QB2. It's funny because they have Derek Carr, who also went to Fresno State. Sort of has a Derek carr -y kind of uh, autograph as well. There's Jake Hayner, red ink on the gold helmet. That really pops. How long do, how long do they have uh, Derek Carr signed there? Down there, a few few seasons, so he could marinate behind uh, could marinate behind Derek Carr for a little bit. Could be the QB of the future, maybe one to hold on to, William. I mean, obviously, the, 
These are all the uh, 2023 draft class, so these would all be <laughs> ones to hold on to. Obviously, the you know first round picks, quarterback, big names are always obviously going to be the ones uh, that are going to have immediate value. But all of these have value now. We don't know what these players are going to turn into. Alan Murdoch, you're up next. Box four. Box four. Good luck. This is, he said he was, quote, shocked when he heard this news. Alan, you're going to like this one. This is a first-round quarterback, fourth overall pick, standing at 6'4", 255 for the Indianapolis Colts, Anthony Richardson. Boom. Nice. He's the future. There's certainly going to be some growing pains for Anthony Richardson, but but I'm rooting for him. We gotta root for all these. It's hashtag good for the hobby. I gotta root for all of these guys. Nice, congrats, Alan. I mean, if the Colts hit on another QB, out of the draft, I know they haven't had some success. They have not had success getting you know, vet quarterbacks, Carson Wentz and Matt Ryan, but when they're drafting, last Last few times have been pretty good. They got Peyton Manning for however long. Followed up by Andrew Luck. Some years in the wilderness and then Anthony Richardson. Here's Arthur with number five. Box five right there. Arthur Hackett, good luck. This was uh, another first round pick. Picked at number 30 overall. Born in Savannah, went to Georgia. 6'2, 238 linebacker. For the Fly Eagles, Fly Nolan Smith. Ooh. And he hit you with a pick inscription as well. Nice. Obviously, those various inscriptions are going to be. A, uh, a little more short printed, as they say, or short signed, a little more rare. All right, there you go, Arthur. Nice. Jason. Jason. How do you feel about Nolan Smith? Beast, he said. We just pulled his helmet. Should have been a top 10 pick, Arthur. That's what Eagles fan Jason Jaspi is saying. All right, there you go. So a ringing endorsement from my colleague. All right, there you go, Arthur, yeah. An embarrassment of riches, I feel like, for the Eagles. They already have a good team, then they had a number of draft picks lined up. It looks like they drafted well, so on and so forth. Matt, here's a spot that you got straight up. You got two spots straight up, and you won a spot. Here's your first of three. So your box six, there it is right there. Let's see what we got. 
Now, I'm taking my time with these because we don't have anything sold out at the moment after this. That NT football is going to go into a filler after this. So if you want to grab your team straight up before it goes into a filler, now is the time. All right, we got another quarterback. I'm surprised that this break didn't sell out faster. Uh, he was born in Philly, went to high school near here, just south of us here in Santa Ana, California, modern day. Big uh, high school football powerhouse in this area. Out of Alabama, your number one overall pick, Bryce Young. He's a week one starter as well, right? I think so. There is, there's his autograph, looking good. Nice Panthers logo, great helmet. Good stuff. Bryce Young. We're rooting for all these guys, ladies and gentlemen. We're rooting for all these guys. Hashtag good for the hobby. Nice one, Matt. First of three, let's see what those other two are gonna hold in store for you a little bit later. All right, Michael P, you're up next with box seven. Good luck. We have another first round pick, born in Vegas, 6'4", 240. Spent, looks like spent a season or two San Diego before going to Utah. For late first round pick, first team all Pac-12, which might not be in existence anymore. Um, and a tight end for the Buffalo Bills, Dalton Kincaid. Nice. He needs to make use of the canvas a little bit more there, but there's his auto. Red ink right on the blue. Oh, out of number two, out of 25. Nice. Buffalo! Nice one, Michael. All right, next box is going to be number eight. That's for Josh. All right, there's box eight right there. Your, uh, your second helmet, Josh. Thanks for getting in. Ooh. There was a cool highlight of, of this player the other last weekend, I want to say. Uh, born in Bakersfield, California. A late second round pick, went to Penn State um, all, uh, all four years. A cornerback, 6'2", 194, and uh, has some pedigree. It's uh, Joey Porter's kid, Joey Porter Jr. Nice, his dad drafted by the Steelers back in 1999, linebacker Joey Porter, and then now in 2023, there's his son right there. That's good use of the canvas right there. Big, bold, silver ink autograph right on the helmet. And uh, I think he had an interception in a preseason game, maybe a pick six. 
or maybe just a pig, but I think he, I think his dad was in the stands, I want to say, at one of the end zones, and he ran over there and gave the ball to him. I think it was a cool moment right there. Cool that the uh, Steelers took him as well. All right, Josh, I dig it. Nice helmet. All right, Matt, you're up next. Box nine. Now, this is the extra. So we gave away a spot. Well, more of a buy one, get one situation. And that's the, that's the uh, box that Matt won, got randomized box nine. So let's see what this, what this bonus box has in store for you. Your buy one, get one box. Good luck, man. Are there lots of Porter Juniors in sports? I can only think of two. Joey Porter Jr. and Michael Porter Jr. Are there other Porter Juniors out there? All right, we got another first round pick. Standing at six foot 197 a wide receiver, pick 20 for the Seahawks. He's got a brother in baseball, too. It's Jackson Smith and Jigba. Went to Ohio State, high school in Rockwall, Texas. And let's see what the status of his injury is. Apparently uh, got a broken, a broken bone in his wrist. Not a broken wrist, but a broken bone in his wrist. Had wrist, is gonna have wrist surgery, according to ESPN, about 13 hours ago, will be out for three to four weeks. So not season ending, which is good. We'll still see him in action. Let's see the helmet. Ooh, nice. Got that neon green ink. Good little uh, color match there. Nice, I like that. The Seahawks helmet is really cool. All right, so hopefully he bounces back well from that injury. And, uh, and let's see uh, who the next one's gonna be. So there you go, Matt, not bad for the extra box that you won. I haven't been doing Who Am I? The, the chat's been pretty quiet. It's just been me and Rex. Do people want to play Who Am I? Maybe we can do that with the last, all, or do you want to play Who Am I? You can play. Oliver says, hi, Rex. All right, Sal, box 10. Play a little bit of America's favorite game with the last few boxes. Who am I? Clue. These are all uh, all current players in from the uh, from the draft. This one might be a little too easy. All right. Who am I? I'm 6'3", 218, from Rancho Cucamonga, California. I'll rent to Rancho Cucamonga High. Went to Ohio State, was a two-time Graham George Offensive Player of the Year, a Thompson Randall L. Freshman of the Year. If I give away more stuff, I might, I'm a first round pick, went to Ohio State. Yeah, it's gonna give it away. Second pick overall. Yep, Oliver, oh, Sal's here too. Yep, CJ Stroud, there you go, Sal. This is Sal's mini helmet. All right, maybe this, this starts the nice bold auto too. Good job, CJ. So this could, this could, is he the quarterback? This could mark the, uh, 
will this mark the start of the Houston Texans franchise turning around? Be hashtag good for the hobby. All right, thank you, Sal. Nice. Oh, it's a great hit, but Sal's a Titans fan, so that doesn't help him. He was maybe looking for this guy. All right, Hans. Last spot mojo, box 11. Good luck. Well, let's hope he does well, Sal, but not against, you're just not against your Titans. All right, this guy could be an exciting player in the league, I think. So this is gonna go to Hans. Um, a late first round pick. I think most of these players have been first round picks. A third team All-American, two time first team All-ACC, third team All-ACC, all in different years. Um, went to, was born in Saint, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 5'9", 182, wide receiver. Went to Boston College all four years. Senior year, 78 catches, over 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns. 4-4-40. And I, I feel like he could be a pretty, uh, pretty dynamic player. I feel like he's been, I mean, I know preseason, you got a huge grain of salt, maybe a salt block. But for what it's worth, yep, Stephen Flats got it. Zay, not Zay Jones, Zay Flowers. For the Purple Birds, ooh, nice. That red ink on the black helmet, that really pops. Hard to get a good angle right there, but nice one for the Purple Birds. Love these mini helmets. Last but definitely not least, Matt, thank you for your patience. Thanks for grabbing spots. Congrats again on that win with the extra mini helmet. Let's see what your second spot straight up is going to get you. Box 12. And our last, uh, last who am I? There's been some nice autos out of here. strong here second round pick 6 4 229 from Newton Massachusetts went to Xavier High School went to Penn State for a couple years then transferred to Kentucky who am I this team traded up to select me with the 33rd overall pick in the NFL draft. Oh, athletic family, my, my dad played football at Denison University, a D3 school in Ohio. My mom was a two-time All-American soccer player at Yale. Yeah, some weird, uh, some odd eating habits. It's Will Levis. Nice auto. 
I expect high quality autos like that from our quarterbacks. There you go. Nice finish, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's the hologram card right there from Fanatics. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.